I'm Jared Samard, and I just graduated with my PhD from the City University of New York. I teach at Hunter College, yes. What do I teach? I teach um, an array of courses, so uh, I teach uh, beginning uh, mythology, so classical mythology, which is usually a lot of freshmen uh, registering for that course. I also teach uh, the Greek and Latin roots of English, which is uh, another course that um, in some ways was sort of pioneered by Tim Eric Green, who's now a professor emerita of uh, the classics department at Hunter College. So we use our textbook and it's all about getting students to engage with you know, Greco-Roman, uh, Latin and Greek vocabulary. Um, and in that sense, I think it's really useful because it's uh, good for students who you know, may not have English as their first language. So it really helps them sort of build vocabulary and strengthen English vocabulary. So that's, I really like teaching that course. Um, and we have a lot of sections of that. And then I teach other things like Roman civilization and beginning Latin. So I have a project called Mapping Mythology, and it's um, you can find it on the web, mappingmythology.com. And uh, it's all about tracing the, um, and documenting and creating a database, digital database, for instances of reception of myth in public art. So uh, I go around in my, its current form, I'm looking at the reception of myth in Manhattan and in New York City, but I hope to expand to other uh, other cities, both in the United States and around the world. Uh, but the idea is to find myth in the public sphere. It can, it can, I know, exactly. And I think that that's, I think, for the poetry in particular, right, it's so intimate. I mean, it's that emotion, right? So I think that's very easy for people to relate to, to see themselves in that, right? Uh, in that passion, right? They're experiencing that in their own relationships. And so I think that that just on like a general, non-specific aspect, right, is very engaging. And I think can be incredibly moving for people, even who are going through a breakup, let's say, right? Going through a divorce, right? And it's like reading Catullus's like lesbian cycle and like how it, you know, you see the whole history of a relationship, whether it's real or crafted or not, it doesn't matter. It's like, what's relevant is it gives you like that cycle. And it's like, it's almost therapeutic in a way to like read that.